pretend I didn't do that. Anyways, let me go turn off that TV before it gets too distracted. And why is this tilted? Oh, because I broke my tripod. Still, I have a point. No one told you to turn, bro. Like, chill. What's up, you guys? It's your girl Evelyn back with another video. Hope you all are having a good day or night. Like today, video is going to be. <laughs> it's going to be. Now get ready with me. Today we're gonna be doing a get ready with me. A little chit chat, a little cheese made, a little, you know, a bit of everything, a little ketchup. Just getting a little ketchup. I mean, <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna put on some musica. And we're gonna get to the getting. Anyways, can you get copyrighted? Mm, we're just gonna do a little get ready with me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and if you're new, definitely subscribe because we're on our way to 500 subscribers. And I'm hoping we'll get there because we are back on this YouTube grind and kind of back on the YouTube grind. I've been a little busy, but you know I've been trying to manage my time more better. Um, so yeah, let's get into this video, and I'll tell you guys more about that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna answer enjoy. questions, but before I answer questions, let me post a thing saying to give me questions. Um, I said I put a poll and I said ask me questions, and then I said ask me as many questions as you can. This is a last minute video, and I need a question. I need questions ASAP. Um, that was kind of like you know not supposed to happen because I've been on, on, on a break from social media, kind of except TikTok because you know TikTok got me kind of pressed right now, and we'll talk about that. But um, like for all my other social medias, um, I like been on a break because you know, I need this week was finals for my um. Let me like multitask. This week was finals for for my IDLA, which is like um, a course to help me graduate early. And I only had two classes. You know, I had Spanish, and I had an English class. I really suck at English, by the way. Um, so yeah, there's that but I had finals and so I needed to like study more, you know um, Let me get my brushes out. I think I mentioned in one of my videos Yeah, in the first video I posted this month that um I've been busy doing art, you know, I've been selling my art and everything <coughs> My bad But I said I was also gonna take a break from orders or the giveaways I've been doing um and that if anybody had a problem with it or like questions or concerns about it, you know, just to text me about it, text me about it. And nobody had a problem about it. Everyone was really supportive about it. So, um, you know, that, that kind of gave me a relief. But let me show you guys this. This is a piece I'm working on for um, my aunt's brother. I used charcoal around it and I haven't used charcoal in a fat minute. But um, these are football players. I don't know if you can see this very well, you know. I never thought I could like do something like this, but I'm just trying to um, increase my ability of art. I think it. I think it's doing good so far. Like my art has been getting better and better, and you know I'm really happy about that. But um, so yeah, I said I was gonna take a break from that. Everybody understood, you know. But um, so yeah, there's that. I've been taking a break, you know. Um, not for the TikTok cheese man. Y'all got me messed up. Y'all got me freaked up. Like this generation just sucks booty, bro. Literally, like literally. Y'all, y'all disgusting like that. Um, I have this homegirl named Crystal Wright. Um, and she has wanting to, has been wanting to um do rap. And so she's wrote a couple 
songs already and she's posted them you know she's actually really good especially her raps like you know how people rap nowadays about like the dumbest crap ever money drugs girls butt boobs all that stupid stuff um her stuff is actually like real stuff you know um so there was this guy who made a video about her on tiktok and i was saying you know of course everyone's open to their opinions so i didn't really care much about the tiktok you know like i said in one of my videos i said music isn't for everybody certain type of music isn't for everybody um but it is for me like i like her music you know um so i didn't really care much about the creator or the video he made but the comments really kind of like pressed me a bit you know because um I don't know what is wrong with people like okay if you can't do something then you can't do something right right you just leave it at that yeah you can have your opinion and be like that was horrible you know feel free you know um but like let's let's like try to set an example let's let's try to make an example so if one of my art pieces came out really freaking bad which sometimes my art doesn't come out as i expect it to right um and i post it i start getting i start getting like people's opinions about my art like oh i don't like that or that's ugly you know then i'm be like all right whatever you know it'll improve it's just a little mistake you feel me um whatever set you whatever you set your mind to and practice on more and more you'll improve right 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 so like getting a little getting a little um you know negative feedback about something you do is okay but there's a difference between having an opinion and hating on somebody. So, so like I said, somebody gave their if somebody gave their opinion about my art, that's way different than if somebody just started calling me out of my name because of my art, and somebody um, started body shaming me because of my art. So. Um, if I got like threats just because of my art, um, yeah, that's that's like Is that really necessary just because she can't rap in people's opinions you're gonna call her names body shame her and Threaten her um, So I made a video about it explaining basically what I just said um, there you can have opinions respectful opinions, especially um and then there's a difference between you know having opinions and hating on people and people started calling me soft um you know like 80 percent of the people on there were agreeing with me you know because obviously you know if you're if you're a person with common sense you would agree with me right so i don't know um so i made a video about that and then people were calling me soft and all of this and then other people were like why are you calling her soft you guys are just mad and ignorant because you know it's true there's something like that um some people even unfollowed me and one of my this girl who's my friend she ended up unfollowing me and i was like wow i thought we were cool what the heck so i was kind of shocked about that and so i wasn't but her that she unfollowed me but I was curious as to why she unfollowed me. And so I texted her. And I was like, um, yo, um, I'm not butthurt that you just unfollowed me on every social media. But I do want to know, was it because of the opinion I had? And if it was, I'd like to understand why. And I'd like you to understand where I was coming from. And then she was, she just told me, she's like, um, you're blaming all the Raza. Oh, that's what I forgot to say. Because there's people who are on there who claim to be part of Raza, you know? You don't know what that is that you don't know what that is but um when i was in the video there was a lot of people in those comments who claimed to be rasa right and i was like and don't don't claim rasa if you're gonna hate on your own people and um you know i said rasa is supposed to uplift um their own people their people and you know help them do better like if something's bad um, then you help them improve on it. You know, you get you give them a little advice You tell them, you know, what's wrong here. What's wrong there and you help them, right? Yeah, um So all those people in the comments they're claiming Rasa and they also were just hating on her 
So that's what I said in the video. And so anyways, when I was talking to her, she was like, you're blaming Alavarasa for that. I was like, no. So in the first video that I made, I kind of like mixed up my words and I do understand how a lot of people misunderstood me. So that's why I had to make a part two and a part three. And after that, a lot of people actually understood me and started to feel dumb. But I was like, well, don't feel dumb because, you know, I kind of like, it was kind of my fault. But um, still, that doesn't like give no excuse for the hate that, that people like to give. But anyways, I told her where I was coming from. She's like, oh, now I understand. I didn't know she was getting hate like that. So like this, da, 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 da. I was like, yeah. Please. So then she followed me back on Instagram. <laughs> and I followed her back because I... Um, I unfollowed her too. What the heck? Two can play at that game. But no beef. I just said that. <laughs> um, the guy ended up. Um, I think he deleted his video and then he got banned, or he just got banned. I'm not sure. Um, still right now, people have just been commenting on my videos. Uh, it hasn't been as much hate anymore. It's just been like since people have watched part part two and three, they understand now. Um. But some people were being really ignorant and um, you know not open-minded about where I was coming from, and they just wanted to hate on me for no reason. There was just like there was this like little twelve-year-old that um, she just started hating on every little thing. Like it wasn't even because of the video. When she first started hating, it wasn't even because of the video. Um, she just started going along with all the other haters and she was like soft soft little girl and she was like 12 herself And I looked at her profile picture and she's like over here in the mirror taking a butt pig. I was like This is coming from the girl who thinks she this is coming from the 12 year old girl who thinks she got a booty get out of here Like your joke stop anyways so then she was like okay Android quality I was like this girl I started to crack up because I was like People these days really judge people because of the kind of phone they got. How retarded does that sound? Like, at least it's a phone. I was like, you really thought you ate that one up, didn't you? And then she stopped commenting, and then she started going towards my other um, supporters. One of my um, supporters is part of the LGBT community, and um, the little freaking girl, she was like, she commented back on uh, one of my supporters who's part of that. Hold on. She said something like, get out of here, shut up, coming from the one who's part of the LGBT community. And, you know, that didn't sit well with me either. I was like, I was like, yo, that was, I was like, yo, that wasn't cool. If you're going to say stuff like that, just hop off my page, you know? And obviously she didn't hop off my page, so I just blocked her. So, if that little girl is really this. Um, also, someone on TikTok, a while ago, I was making um, my grandma t a TikTok. And when I was making my grandma a TikTok, I went to go look myself up so she could follow me. And somebody made a fake account of me. I was like, period. So I got I got some questions here. I'll think of other stuff to talk about. Um, like that's happened if I think of anything else. But let's go on with this. Um, I asked people the question. I asked people to give me questions. So I'm going to answer those right now. Okay, so the first question is, do you miss the old school youngsters? So if you guys don't know what that is, I don't, I'm pretty sure half of you don't because like the, the page never became that big. But um, So I used to have this group of friends and we were called the old school youngsters. We all had our group chat. Well, okay, here's how it started. So um, a couple friends, I was like, yo, who wants to make a group chat? You know, stay active, all of that, you know? Um, so... A good amount of people that you know are really we're close friends we didn't just invite like random people we all knew each other you know some of us didn't but some of us like grew to know each other you know um but we were all a like really close group of friends you know and um we were like yo we should like make a name for ourselves and you know we were planning on making a car crew car crew car club in the future and you know we made this tiktok page called old school youngsters um so that was our name we, we called ourselves old school youngsters and um we made the page y'all can go check it out um i think some some of them still post on there you know of us we just all haven't talked in a while you know because we've been busy Especially not school starting, so. Um, but yeah, 
I was like a, a really good supportive group of friends, you know. But um, yes, I do miss old school youngsters. A lot of us got dissonant with each other and um, you know, some of us left the group chat. I was one of those people who left the group chat because, oh no. Sometimes it was just like, I don't know, sometimes I just like needed a break from it. Um, okay, next question. Do you paint too, love? Um, I've gotten into painting before. I think there's still a painting. Let me go get it. This one was for Father's Day, and I did like a little Bob Ross moment. So, this is supposed to be like a little scenery or something. Here's like these rocky mountains, the trees, and then the stuff. I really try to detail it, but... You know, and then this was a painting I did for a YouTube video, but I never posted it because I lost, anyways, because I lost all the footage. But this is the little Simpsons moment. Uh, I guess I do paint, I just don't paint a lot, you know. But I do have been trying to get into airbrushing, and I'll put some of my airbrushing airbrushes on the screen, like my airbrush pieces. Um, my grandma, shout out to my grandma, she, um, she really wanted one of my um, airbrush pieces. Like she really liked it. And then um, it was like one of my first ever airbrush pieces. Um, so I guess she was really happy about that. There's that. Y'all, I'm barely done with one eyebrow and it's been like a whole freaking 20 minutes. Um, what's your life goal? So my life goal, goals, yes. I don't just have one goal, I have a couple goals. Um, you know what's crazy is my mom was telling me, she told me a while ago, she was like, that's crazy, you said you always wanted a job at 15, and you got, you basically have one, which is selling my art. It's like, that's so true. So there's one of my goals that I accomplished already, was getting a job at 15. Yeah. Um, the next goal is going to be... Um, you know getting my art really known and so far it's good. It's going good. My art has been known <sighs> To a good amount of people you well, know people as well have been Seeing my art. Sorry if you guys hear that my sister and brother are jumping around I mean my third goal is to graduate college Master in art and business. Um, after that I want to Hopefully while I'm waiting, you know, while I'm in college, I can work in a tattoo shop for a little bit. You know, my parents have warned me about, you know, how some tattoo places are and how they, they're like, oh, you want this job? Then you gotta do certain things for me, you know, like, I'm not trying to do all that. But yeah, I'm just gonna try to, we have this family friend, well, my mom and uh, my uncle know him. I guess he's trying to open his tattoo shop. And so if he has it by the time I'm in college, then... He said he would let me work over there for a bit until, you know, I'm done. But um, after college, I want to um, open up my own tattoo shop, get that going. And then once I want to have enough money, I want to open a clothing brand and then um, buy my family a house. And then I want to open up my own car club you know, just go on from there. There's a lot of more stuff I want to do, but those are the main things for now. Oh, and obviously get my dream home. I really want a penthouse, you know, where you can have a very beautiful view of the city. Like, uh, I just love those houses. Those houses just, I don't know, just waking up, imagining waking up to that view every morning is just would make me so happy. Like, that's how you should start off your day. Like is waking up to the sunrise, beautiful city, maybe the oceans right there. Who knows? But um, yeah, those are the goals for now. Okay, how tall are you? You know, honestly, people have been confusing me a lot. Um, when I last went to the doctor, my checkup, when I said five two. That was the last one I went to. Um, and then I asked my mom, she just didn't know. She was like, she was trying, I don't know. She just didn't know. Because my mom, she, my mom's five, 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 four. She's taller than me. 
So if I was around 5'5", five, 5'4", five, five, I would have been close to her, but she's taller than me. Uh, my sister, my sister's like, like, my sister's pretty, I don't know, she's catching up to me. She used to be like really short. She's, that girl used to be like four or something. She was short. You know, I'll tell y'all when I go to my next checkup because I honestly don't even know anymore. This one, I F, I F with your style. Thank you, thank you. Um, a lot of people say that my style, I try to mix it up a lot. Um, obviously, you know, I, I dress up how I dress up, but sometimes I have those days where I want to dress really girly or where I have that like 2000s kind of vibe. Um, there's not a clothes, there's not a lot of clothes in my closet because I haven't been responsible lately and washing my clothes, but today I put my clothes to wash. So yay me. I'm planning on doing like a little um, lookbook, but I just need to get more clothes for that. So you guys let me know what kind of lookbook you want. Like what kind of theme of a lookbook you want, because I'll, I'll let you know. And a lot of people um, get their... The clothing, the way I dress, a lot of people nowadays, like, they get, like, the really expensive stuff. Like, Dickies, all of that. Dickies, Ben Davis, all of that, right? Like, well, that's what people back then used to wear, yeah, but it was all cheaper back then. Like, I, I like paying for my own stuff, and I don't have that kind of money to, like, spend, like, $60 on a Ben Davis or something, you know? So I thrift a lot of my clothes, and they actually are in really good condition, and... Um, they you know they look the same as every other thing that costs a lot of money so um, for those people who have asked me before like I used to do these question things even for fun like where you get your clothes or something um, I, I thrift a lot of my clothes so yeah you have nice hair <laughs> thank you I don't really like my hair to be honest I just feel like I need to do something different with it okay okay oh my god what inspired you to do your business? Um, so it's kind of crazy actually. So I just started drawing on TikTok, right? My TikTok was just supposed to be for YouTube, for YouTube like content, you know? Um, then I was like, you know, I should just post a little bit of my art. I remember finding this old art, these old art pieces I drew in like sixth to seventh and eighth grade. And um, I found them and I just posted them. A lot of people were like, oh, that's nice and then So people like that art and I, you know, that art wasn't really it and I didn't want people to think that that's how I drew now. So I drew up some names. I started drawing, no, I started drawing like some other pieces and people really liked them. It's, there was this time that I just posted a name, my friend Ashley's name. She has a YouTube channel too. Um, I always leave her YouTube in my description. But um, I just did her name, you know, and then everybody was like, after that, some people started asking, oh, can you do my name? I was like, for sure, for sure. So I started doing um, those people's names. And then a lot of more people started to come and ask me to do their names. And so I was like, all right, I'm going to start selling them. Those names did not take like freaking five minutes, an hour. They took a couple, like maybe two hours the most. Maybe. Mm, now they take like 30 minutes, maybe 40, depending on how much detail they want. But um, yeah, I started tracking people and then it just went on from there. A lot of people started DMing me, asking me if I could draw their name. And then I started doing actual pieces and now everybody's just, my, my art business has flown through the roof. A lot of people like my art. And then I started doing bundles. I started um, doing stickers and you know I'm just really thankful and grateful for like for what's happening you know because most people dream about stuff like this and it never happens um, but you know it's all about you too it's like you have to put in the time and you know sacrifice other things just to do that um, but yeah it's really worth it if you're planning on trying trying something out like me I really really recommend you guys to try it out like if you're into art if you're into like making things or whatever it is definitely do it it's worth it's worth a shot because I didn't think like doing names or doing anything was gonna get me this far like it's kind of shocking how how things are you know like I've started getting DMs from businesses who wanted me to um, 
who wanted me to draw their their logos a lot of people like that um like a lot of support like i the support that people give me is crazy dude like people don't even know me but like they still like support you know it's just it's cool it's really cool but yeah um if you were six foot six if you were six six foot nba what team would you want honestly my family's really into the lakers but you know i kind of like dig the suns and you know if i was that tall and had the basketball skills i could probably help the suns win a championship which they did but um you know more because like, you know that was, that was kind of like a miracle that happened so yeah either the lakers or the suns i need to call my mom for a concealer my mom has like stacked up makeup So the other day I put on blush and you know I just tried it out because I don't really like blush I kind of hate blush and I never really knew where to apply it or how to apply it but you know I kind of winged it the other day and I was low-key living like I low-key loved it so I'm gonna try that again today um, and hopefully it goes the way it did I just went to go get some freaking eyeliner. <laughs> Hold on, let me zoom this makeup. I just went to go get eyeliner and came back with a whole new set of makeup. I was like, chill. Now, while we wait for that, I'm gonna do my lip liner. So I'm gonna take, usually I take like a really dark lip liner, but today I'm gonna take this one. We'll do um, highlight and all that in a bit. But I'm gonna take this lip liner um, in the shade chocolate. And I'm gonna do my lips. Because I'm going to fill them in with the lipstick that we're gonna be trying out today. So. It smells so good. Oh, I'm about to clean it up. Um, but this lipstick is in shade.
I want to wear my brown pride shirt. Right there, the shirt for brown pride. Um, I don't know what pants to wear yet, but I do know what I'm going to do with my hair. So since I'm wearing that brown pride shirt, Okay, so I'm gonna go do my hair off of I'm gonna go do my hair off of camera real quick and I'll come back when I'm done. Basically all I'm gonna do is straighten my hair, um, straighten my bangs, and then I'm gonna put this in my hair. Um, if it doesn't go well with my bangs, then I'm just gonna do it without the bangs. I'm gonna see how, how I'm gonna do this. But um I forgot to mention that after I do my makeup I put on the the setting powder, setting powder, setting spray after that, and then I added I thought this was a mascara, Anastasia mascara, but it was an Anastasia um, brow. I was like, why are these, why, why are my eyelashes not going how they usually do? Because this is a, a gel, gel brow. So I put this on my brow. And then, yeah, the lipstick, I'm really living for the lipstick. I really love it so much. Okay, so I put the bandana in my hair. At first I did it a certain way, but I didn't like it. And then I did it again right now. Um, the bangs, I'm just really letting them do their own thing. Um, looks fine, but... Now it's time for the fit. I'm done with the fit. The only problem I'm having... Hold on, let me get my ring. The only problem I'm having is with my jewelry. So I got the brown pride shirt. Let me show you on the back. Brown pride. Got the pants, and then I got my white Cortezes. But I don't know if I should wear these little hoop earrings or these big hoop earrings. The end of this video, you guys. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and if you're new, definitely subscribe because we're on the road to 500 subscribers, and that is gonna be it. And I'm out. Peace.